Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today I'm going to show you the Linux basic terminal commands. Alright, so I think that it's pretty useful to have the really basic terminal commands in your uh, bag of tools to do various tasks because you might be using Linux or Mac in uh, different studios or just for your own usage. So I'm going to start with number one, it's going to be the list command which is ls, just type ls and press enter and it's going to list the directory you're currently in. So that's it, that's what it does. You can say list l a and it's gonna list every file, even the ones that are hidden here. The ones that start with a dot are actually hidden files. All right, the second command is gonna be cd, which means change directory. So we need to type cd, then the name of the directory. Let's go to the Houdini directory. You can also you can always press tab, like type a few letters of the name press tab and you will auto complete your word now press enter and you can see now there we changed to the uh, houdini directory now we can press ls we type ls here and list the content of that directory you can see there's more files and directories here we can go to the otls folder and you can see now we're inside the otls folder ls there and we have more stuff there we can also say cd space dot dot to go back to one uh, previous directory. You can see we are in the Houdini 16 directory now. We can do that again and go back to home. The next one is going to be the move command. And the move command, let's just list here. It's going to allow us to move a file or a directory somewhere else. So let's create a file here. I don't have a file. Let me move the music folder to the pictures folder. So let's just say MB for move. Then you put the name of the folder you want to move. And then the destination is going to be pictures. So let's do that. Let's press L, let's type LS. You can see the music folder is not there anymore. Let's go inside pictures and it should be here. And you can see the folder music is there. Let's move it back. Let's move music. And to move it back, we could actually do maybe just this to the previous directory outside of here. So let's ls, and it's not there, cd previous directory, ls. Now the music folders go, it's here as well, right? So now the next command is gonna be the man command, and this is the manual command. You can see man, this is the, what manual page do you wanna see? It's telling us, let's see the manual for ls actually. Now you can see there's a bunch of stuff we can do with ls. This is the documentation of this. You can see all the flags we can pass to it. There's a lot of stuff we can pass here, but just, we're just seeing the uh, simple stuff. Press Q to get out of there. You can see man of MB. Any of these commands, you can see them with the man command, the, the documentation and the extra flags. So now the next command we're going to see is the make directory command, which is make there like that. And this command is going to allow us to create a directory and just press space and let's create a test directory. Press LS and now we have a test directory here. We can go inside it like always. We can get back out of it. Now we can remove the directory with our RM there. And the name of the directory and we ls and there is the the folders gone we can create a file in the same way with the touch command the touch command just allowing us to create a file let's create the test.txt file and like that we can list now we have a file called test.txt there now we can remove the file with rm test test uh test that txt remove it now the file is gone and the final command i'm going to show you is the clear command which allows us to clear your screen and brings you back to a fresh new prompt here so you can stop doing more commands all right guys hope you enjoyed this one i think it's really important to know your basic commands and start using the terminal more 
there's sometimes you need to use the terminal for creating bash scripts or creating folders really quickly or connecting to a server or connecting to another render node and triggering renders from there and, and stuff like that it always going to come up when in a, in a studio where they're using uh, linux or something similar to that all right guys this is better mix let's keep learning together and i will see you in the next one cheers <laughs> <laughs>